So, um, so my answer is a push. I would say, by and large, I'm definitely proud of being labeled a geek. And when, if and if any of you come out to PAX East and you see me there, you see Rue there, you will see us with our hands in the air, screaming and yelling because we are excited to be labeled geeks. And we, I think all of us feel most at home when we're hanging around other geeks. That being said, I'm not that sure how much I would probably out myself in a new community of folks uh, as a geek. As a matter of fact, the way that I met Boomer was at a party and uh, someone was talking about uh, games, like board games, things like this. And the, the discussion kind of eked over ever so slightly and, and subtly into D&D. &D, and uh, Boomer and I began talking about Dungeons and Dragons and neither of our lives, I, I think it's safe to say, would ever be the same. All right. So that's one of the reasons why you're here right now watching the site that you're watching, because um, Boomer and I linked up at a party of people that I was, I guess I wasn't that afraid of talking about D&D about. But then again, as Boomer will tell you, we did kind of move to a different part of the, of the house so we could talk privately about playing games without too many people hearing. All right, so that's that wraps up the weekly ringer from last week, and uh, these videos are getting way too long, guys, and I apologize. But anyway, I, I intended these things to be like six minutes long, so now we're going to have 20-minute long weekly ringers. All right, I'll try to do this one fast. This The Super Bowl is upon us. By the time most of you watch this video, the Super Bowl will be over. I will not make my guess as to who's going to win the Super Bowl, although it seems like the Packers' year to me. But uh, I'll, I'll probably be cheering for the Steelers. I really like Mike Tomlin. He's a fantastic coach. Um, and, uh, but really, the, the, the McCarthy, you know, uh, Mike McCarthy coach, he, is, he seems kind of like an everyman. I, I don't know. I, I could see the, one of these teams. I'm happy either way. So uh, my Giants aren't in it, so I don't really care. But uh, after what the Packers did to us in, uh, a few weeks ago, um, I, don't, I, don't, I think I probably wouldn't mind seeing the Packers win. Though, uh, and it does kind of feel like their year because of what they put together with all the, the momentum. They kind of feel a lot like the Saints last year. So I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, we'll make a prediction, but uh, you see what's going on with that. Anyway, so Super Bowl will have been done by the time most of you see this video. But I wanted to spend a week uh, with a themed ringer around sports. Now, what is the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl is a game and a, and a television event, really, a media event for which a lot of people that don't even watch football they couldn't care less about the Packers or the Steelers or any other team for that matter because they don't care about even sports turn on their televisions to watch a football game even if they're not watching the football game itself they get into parties and watch the commercials or wardrobe malfunctions or whatever else the, the case might be but are people that are not generally sports fans tune into the Super Bowl because it's that that big of an event this got me thinking there are a lot of sports games out there that have been made over the last 20 years, and some of them have been awesome, some of them have been terrible, and some of them have really gotten to the essence of a sport, and some of them haven't had anything to do with the sport that they might have been modeled after, or they've created new kinds of sports that are uh, maybe a little more interesting or futuristic or even, I don't know, way off the wall from sports that we know and enjoy today. So, this got me thinking about this week's ringer. I want to ask you guys, what... What what is the consideration that you all put around in terms of what role do sports gamers play in video games in general? What do you think the role of sports gaming is to the entire zeitgeist, as it were, of video gaming at large? Now, I'm not gonna. I'm, I could keep going with what this question really means, but instead, I would. I think I would be coloring my own opinion and giving you advance notice on what I'll be talking about next week. So I will cap the discussion there. What do you think the the role of sports gaming really is for video games in general in 2011? Are sports gamers gamers just like just like everybody else? Or is there a special kind of niche that goes along with that? So that is the Weekly Ringer of Super Bowl week, Weekly Ringer number eight. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you all very much for commenting. I am the Commodore from the Clan of the Gray Wolf, and there is no reset button.